Good. Good girl. <laughs> Such a soft little nose. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Jungle Jordan. We are here in California at the Santa Ana Zoo. This is my first time coming to the zoo. We're gonna meet some zookeeper friends of mine. I've never been here. I'm so excited, I'm ready to go. Let's head on in. Hi, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good, uh, who, who are you? <laughs> uh, well, um, I am Dina. I am a zookeeper here at the Santa Ana Zoo. Um, this is my curator, actually, Jenny. Hello. Um, and we are here with Bindi. Bindi! Um, she is our binturong. Oh my goodness, well she is absolutely beautiful. So what is a binturong? I mean, she's um, they interesting. Are, <laughs> they are a civet. Um, so it's a family of, I like to describe it as very odd mammals that I think they kind of were like, eh, they didn't really fit anywhere else. Let's just like lump them together. <laughs> um, but she is the largest of the civet family. Um, wow. They are kind of classified as carnivores, but they're actually kind of omnivores. Like she would be, as Jenny would say, a blueberry avore if she could, because- A blueberry yes, avore? <laughs> she would definitely be all about the fruit. So I, I think I, I have heard of this term for, for these guys known as the the bear cat and, and I, I see that be, she looks like exactly. a cat mixed with a bear like she's this little fluffy beautiful little creature right and like her paws and the claws and all of these things we would think she would be related to a bear but or she's a cat, obviously but not. not um i believe they're distantly related to mongoose weasels um just animals you're like that doesn't make sense but okay awesome um, i've also gotten a lot of why is the seal in the tree because um, of, of her face <laughs> and i'm like can we think about that but okay people are funny sometimes happen so she's one of the the zoo's ambassador animals correct so she is trained to come out um do some behaviors kind of do a meet and greet because they are nocturnal mm -hmm. so it is a good chance for people to actually see her see her in action rather than a black blob sleeping on the shelf awesome. kind of a thing. so um, there's something I, i'm smelling maybe, here Yes. I am smelling something very unique. It, it <laughs> smells a little bit like popcorn. Is, is that but her? Buttered movie popcorn, right? Yes. Wow. Um, so their musk smells like buttered popcorn. So she's a decent sized animal. How, how much do you think she weighs about? Um, she's about 42 pounds because we do weigh her monthly. Wow. So this is like a, like, a, like a demonstration yard? She just gets to come out here and kind of roam around um, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so this is an area where we have it set up so she can kind of explore, but then also we can practice our behaviors. Target? Good, come on. I mean, I'm just really enjoying observing this training. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of animal training and just to see the, the bond that you guys create Maybe. with one another and, and just to, I, I enjoy that connection that you guys mm -hmm. share. Yeah, it is, it is great when you have an animal that totally trusts you and is so focused and it's kind of amazing what you can do. Now, I've heard bentrongs can be a little temperamental at times. Is that true? She can be. She definitely tells me off on a regular basis, <laughs> I like to say. Can you circle? <laughs> I know, there's so many fun things right now. Okay, that was kind that of counts? a circle. <laughs> that kind of counts. We'll do it. Awesome. Circle. Circle. There you go. Thank you. Good job. Are there any cool facts you can tell me about her? Um, besides the buttered popcorn musk? Yeah. Um, yeah, so they have a prehensile tail. Oh. Um, so she can actually support her body weight from her tail. Um, her, so she's kind of a special case because she had a small break in her tail as a baby, and that's why it's so tightly curled. Um, if you go to probably any other zoo, you will see a binturong with a full long tail because it's actually about twice to three times, I think, their body length. Um, so they're one of the only carnivores that has a prehensile tail, right? Yes. Um, the, uh, well, for old world mammals. So the kinkachu is the other one. Hi. Mm -hmm. Could you describe nice. old world mammals? Um, so they are from Africa, Asia, and the old world um, new world is anything from south america and central america right so these are very outdated terms which i kind yes. of think about and i'm, I'm learning time, about that and i'm always like when are we gonna update this but it's okay then wow. hi can you come up oh i know the struggle is so real sometimes she's yes. a pretty large animal she yes and actually she's kind of not smaller but i'd say medium sized because we saw her half sister in houston zoo and she was a much bigger animal. We were like, oh, okay. That's oh, a very good circle, thank you, but I didn't ask for it. Oh. 
How long would you say it, it took to, to train some of these behaviors? Um, she's very food motivated. So um, like the up behavior and the target behavior were previous behaviors um, that she had. The circle did not take, okay, I'll give it to you, too long. Yeah. Um, the crate has always been kind of her safe spot. So that was pretty good. Um, but usually for her, once she knows a behavior, like once she gets it down, she's so solid on it. And so like in her new habitat, we had to train her to shift into the back area. She was very unsure about it, but once she learned it, after like say two, three repetitions, she was like, got it. And she's just on it. So awesome. in that sense, we're very lucky. Why is animal training important? Um, it just makes everyone's lives so much easier. Um, a very good example of that would be, um, she's also injection trained. So we're able to inject her when she has to go to the vet. So then she just gets a little injection, crates, goes to sleep in the crate. It's very low stress. And then um, we realized we didn't have the right vaccines the last time. So then I was able to then inject her and vaccinate her without having to knock her down again or do anything else stressful. And it was very easy. Because you know animal welfare is such a huge thing right now, which it should be always. Always. But, um, I feel like it's just a very vital part to helping everyone have the lowest stress. And I think they like it too. Like they like the, the interaction and the feedback right, and keeping right. their minds busy. And then it's nice for us too, because it gives us a little something else to do besides cleaning all day. Oh, hi. Yeah, this, I knew it was gonna happen. She's like, you're not keeping me occupied. <laughs> Can I help so you? So she requires a lot of attention. Um, she does, yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Hi, good job. Well, thank you so much for showing me Bindi and, and, and hanging out with us yeah, today with, with Bindi. Um, is there going to be another animal today, surprisingly? Um, there possibly will be. Oh, we'll see. Yes. We'll stay tuned for that. Sounds good.